The meeting concentrated on implementing the main areas where gaps were identified following the completion of an assessment of the island's primary health care systems. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George noted that as a result of the COVID-19 circumstances, some of the island's primary health care facilities had to be converted to respiratory clinics along with the suspension of primary health care services. We've also had data from our behavior risk factor survey on reduced screening happening within our communities. We also note um, some of the, the risk factors where we have persons eating less healthily, less exercise, and we're seeing in our numbers where we have lower numbers within our communities of persons who are controlled, both in terms of their blood pressures and their blood sugars. So we are working together as a team. You've noticed our nutrition officers, our health educators, our heads of chronic diseases, pharmacy, all of our teams together in terms of um, implementing our programs, strengthening our community care. We know the importance of preventative um, health. The public and the primary health care implementation meeting also provided an opportunity for the chief medical officer to update her team on the ministry's budget priorities and policy initiatives. Because we want to ensure that all of our internal stakeholders, all of our health care workers are aware of the various programs that have been given priority by the government. So it's an intense meeting. We have all of our various heads here today. We will be working together to ensure that we, we use the full team approach in the implementation of our programs. The chief medical officer said the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will be implementing various plans at the community level aimed at encouraging healthier lifestyles. From the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting. Yes, I would like to